All right, guys, so you have seen the Flow Lab screen protectors on my iPhone before, and that is actually what I am using right now on my 15 Pro Max. But today we're taking a look at the Flow Lab screen protector for the iPad Pro. Now, this one has that true blue color shield, so basically that means that it's anti blue light, so it's really much better for your eyes than some other screen protectors. It helps protect with some of that blue light, kind of how those blue light glasses work as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. We'll put it on the iPad and test it out. So on the top, it does say Flow Lab. You can scan right here. Scan now for bubbles gone, basically an installation video and more information. Here is a picture of your iPod, kind of what it's gonna look like. And it is antibacterial with that true blue, true color blue shield. Now on the back, it does say it has scratch protection, easy bubble free application, precision touch and ultra high clarity and smudge resistant. Now you do get that Flow Lab lifetime warranty with this, which is really nice. And you get all your stuff that comes in the box. And a huge shout out to Flow Lab for sending this out for me to review for you guys, as well as their matte screen protector, which is right here. Now I'm not a huge fan of matte screen protector, so I'm actually just going to apply the uh, clear blue, but it is nice that they have both options and the matte also being anti-reflective. So taking it out of the box here, let's see. We are greeted with I'm gonna take it out this way and set that off to the side here. Let's see what we get. So we are greeted with the screen protector right here. It is already in that installation tray. And in here you do get some installation tools. So taking a look at this stuff real quick. I really like that they include the larger sticker trays, but Flow Lab, if you guys are listening, I would like to see a sticker that is the size of the iPad screen. That way you can just peel it, stick it all the way on, and get all the bubbles off in one swipe. But a bigger one is already better than some of the other ones that come out. So you get the little sticker, you get your microfiber cleaning cloth, you get your little Flow Lab squeegee, and some installation instructions with the lifetime guarantee as well as the wet wipe. So basically with this installation tray, what we're gonna do is take our iPad, we're gonna take it, you know, wipe it all off, put this on here, flip it upside down and pull it out. So let's go ahead and set this off to the side for right now. Okay, so we'll grab our iPad. I currently do have a screen protector on here, but I'm gonna peel it off for this video. Here's what we'll do. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Flow Lab little cleaning cloth and wipe the screen off. So my screen should be pretty clean. I did just have a screen protector on here. So we'll take our little microfiber cleaning cloth, just give it a once over here, make sure it's all nice and dry. Now we'll grab our Flow Lab cleaning sticker or a dust removal sticker, I should say. Go ahead and All right, so now we take the installation tray. We're gonna peel this sticker up to the top, just like this. Oh, let me do it from the other side because I have it upside down. So we're gonna peel it like that. Now you do have top and top. So this top over here is going to go where the camera is. This top is obviously at the top of the iPad. So we'll go ahead and set this on here. Okay, you gotta make sure it's nice and tight on there. Clicks down everywhere. And we're actually going to flip this upside down. So I'm gonna take it carefully and flip it just like this. All right, here we go. Make sure that's in there nice and tight. All right, so basically now what we're gonna do is we're going to hold these tabs down here and pull this piece and it'll apply the screen protector itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I may be, like I said, a little bit out of frame doing so, but I'm gonna try to do it as best as I can, especially with a large iPad like this. So I'm gonna hold this tab down and you just start to pull. There you go, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Here we go. So now we're going to wait about 30 seconds, make sure that is on there good and it adheres everywhere and we'll get right back to it and take a look at how the installation process was. All right, so we are going to take this and flip it right back over, just like this, all right. And let's take a look. And it's almost a full bubble free installation. Now I did get a couple of bubbles and again, this is a pretty large screen. So let's go ahead and flip this over here and inspect these. But the good news is none of them have dust under them. So they should work right out. So let's go ahead and just 
get those out of here real quick. This one, this one. And again, if they do have bubbles in there, but you see there is no specks of dust or anything, give them a little bit of time, maybe a few hours a day, and those little bubbles should go away. Now, Flow Lab does claim that this is a bubble-free installation, and for such a big screen like this, honestly, it did a great job. I really don't see any kind of issues, any bubbles anywhere. So besides this one right here, but that should go away here shortly. And just take a little microfiber cleaning cloth, give it some elbow grease right there. All right, so I did go ahead and turn this on. So let's open it up here and take a look. Now, right on front, this is what we were looking at. It looks really good. I did pull up the Apple webpage here. So taking a look, you see all the colors. Everything looks very good, nice and vibrant, no issues. I don't see any sort of blue reflections or anything coming from the screen protector, which is really good because sometimes you do get that from certain screen protectors. And this looks really good. Now let's go ahead and see how it's gonna work with our Apple Pencil. So we'll go and go to our Notes app here. And just to make sure everything writes and works well, Let's go, oh, I'm using a highlighter. Why am I using a highlighter? All right, let's see. Here we go. So no issues with responsivity here. Very good, nice and responsive. You can definitely sit here. Now, sorry for my horrible, horrible, horrendous handwriting. Sit there, write around. This is the Flow Lab screen. Screen protector. Besides my horrendous handwriting, other than that, this thing is good to go. And it works, it looks very good. Now I'm sitting here looking at it behind the camera, but even if I put it like this, nice and vibrant, looks very good. So that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and talk about the price on this. Now we are looking at $29.95, which by the way, I do have a discount code for you guys, and I'll leave that right here. The code is Brian10, and make sure you use that code on Flow Labs website. You'll save yourself 10% off and you will be good to go. So do I recommend the Flow Lab screen protector with that true color blue shield? And yes, I do. I'm a huge fan of Flow Lab screen protectors. Like I said, I am using one currently on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is no different. It's great. The only thing is with the installation tray, I really wish that we didn't have to flip it upside down and flip it again, because I have a feeling that sometimes if you don't do it correctly, one of the corners may lift up prematurely and you'll get a bunch of air bubbles and things. So Flow Lab, if you guys are listening, I would like to see just an installation tray that you can kind of maybe set on top of it. And that's more secure onto the tray, the screen protector more secure onto the tray itself. So it doesn't move around or anything. That way you can just set it on top, pull it out, and forget it without having to flip the iPad. I would really like to see that. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments below. Have you ever tried a Flow Lab screen protector? Are you interested in trying one? I'm a huge fan of them. And make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys are interested in seeing a matte screen protector that actually feels like writing on paper, but it's still tempered glass, I'll leave that video right there.